Hi Gemini, welcome to your May No Contact Love Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Now Gemini, I had started your reading. Somehow my camera malfunctioned and uh, I did about 5 or 10 minutes of the reading and it didn't even record. So I didn't want to start over, so this is why you're seeing this. So I'm just going to continue uh, here what we have, and I'll go over everything again. So sorry about that, but um, again, this is your May No Contact Love Tower reading, and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. Take it at how it only resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You can switch, flip energies around whenever you need to. And again, uh, these cards over here are for your extended reading. So if this does resonate for you and you would like to go with the extended, everything you need to know is down below. All the information about me, if you knew, is down there also. So welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Gemini, I'm going to take a look at your person and see what's going on with them and see why there may be no contact at this time or communication. So let's look at their energy, whoever you have on your mind. Uh, at the time of this reading. So for the oracles here, I did shuffle them all on camera. Well, the camera I thought was recording. So just to know that these cards were shuffled out. So we have here Medicine Woman, Medicine Man, and Grandfather Sky. Grandfather Sky here is about reaching for the limits. I feel like something re may be reaching new heights here. And with this card here, it's all about a very healing energy. So there may have been things like you had to heal, they had to heal before this could come back together and it could be a very healing connection between the two of you and with this uh medicine woman medicine man i take that as soulmate energy too as it's in the same energy i feel like something may be reaching uh new heights here in this connection for you gemini and then over here we have turn on your heart light allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced a love. We have 36, 9. 9 is almost coming into full circle, completion, a new beginning. And uh, very single energy to me also. And then we have speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. And we have 35, 8. Like, 8s are about travel, action, communication. And I feel like, you know, they're remembering a time when you were very romantic together, very loving together. Maybe, you know, when the connection was good at one time. And I think here they are starting to listen to their heart again. Because the next cards out that we have here are the Queen of Summer and the Wheel of Fortune. Now this is Cancer Energy or Water Sign. And we have the Wheel, which to me is Sagittarius or it could be Leo, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio or... Um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Mary. So we have the Queen of Summer, loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. Listen to your heart. See, I feel like they're starting to listen to their heart, getting in their heart feels about you again. Intuitive insights you can trust. So I think they're starting to trust their intuition, their higher knowing. Um, it does say taking care of others perhaps too much. So that may be an issue. Maybe they have other responsibilities. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck, a new car or travel. It could be distance between you traveling to come see you, but this is fate, destiny, divine timing, things get, getting better, things meant to be. So whatever hap is going to happen here is meant to be, and I feel like they are listening to their heart, getting back into their heart feels, and could be getting ready here to take action, and they could be feeling like, you know, this all happened for a reason, it is fate and destiny, you know, even if we had to separate to do our healing work and come back together, it'll be better than before, very healing energy. And reaching new heights here with Grandfather Sky. So here I started to look into uh, their energy, what's going on for them. And then after that, I look into how they truly feel about you in this connection. So here we have the Two of Cups. So again, soulmate union here. So they're definitely thinking about this soulmate union. And they still uh, have love here with the Queen of Cups. But then we have the Ten of Scrolls. We have Judgment. And the usual Ten of Scrolls um, doesn't usually look like this. This is giving me more of Eight of Swords vibes of it, like being in the mental prison or feeling stuck about something. I mean, this Ten of Scrolls is usually, um, Ten of Swords is usually about an ending. So maybe there's been an ending between the two of you or a separation or something like that. And then here we did have the Three of Scrolls, Three of Swords, which can be about heartache and pain. Sometimes it can indicate third party. So I did clarify that and I'll show you that in a minute. 
And then we have the Emperor. So again, taking control, lead, charge, divine masculine energy. So to clarify the Three of Swords, we had the Page of Swords. So it could be, uh, could be keeping tabs on you online with that Page of Swords energy. And, and I had just looked at the top of the deck um, before I realized my camera wasn't recording. And I had seen the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles can talk about marriage, commitment. So maybe the conversation was brought up about maybe getting committed or moving in or getting married. And with the Knight of Scrolls, that's a very fast-paced action. Sometimes does things without thinking. So maybe they kind of like took off and they got scared and kind of did something foolish. And maybe they regret it also. So I'm feeling like your person here, I think they can't stop thinking about you. They're kind of stuck in their head about this situation or this ending. So judgment here, I feel like they're definitely doing relationship review of this whole situation. That forgiving, healing, and learning. Uh, definitely past life energy. Something meant to be. Uh, judgment is about something resurfacing or resurrecting also. So they're making a decision about this. And you see this uh, pilgrim of the Page of Swords, He's this person's getting ready to go on a pro, uh, pilgrimage. So again, they could be getting ready to take action. You know, maybe they're keeping tabs on your social media, see what you're up to. See if you, if they could get the vibes, oh, I wonder if my Gemini would be open to me coming back. I wonder if it's the right time now. You know, maybe you told them I never want to talk to you again or something like that. Or, you know, and... You know, they could be listening to their intuition and saying, you know, I don't think Gemini really meant that. But let's see here. Let's see what else is going on for your person, Gemini. Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. So we have here the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Four of Spirals. This is my Twin Flame card. We have the Queen of Swords, and we have Justice. Some of you actually, did you actually divorce this person? I mean, justice can speak of divorce. So, you know, um, you know, if, if people that are going to leave negative comments, they got a nasty ex I don't want back. This isn't for you. I'm going to delete it. So don't leave me those um, negative vibes because I'm just going to delete it. Um, but, you know, the three of pentacles here is about rebuilding, building a new foundation, uh, teamwork, collaboration. Kind of energy and the four of wands is about the home it's stability it, it can be moving in moving in um commitment marriage or just dating getting to know uh very uh, stable energy ceremony celebrations and the queen of swords here uh libra energy you know and this queen of swords sometimes can be someone who has been divorced who has been through a lot so it could be maybe you have just been through a lot with this person and they know that maybe with the Queen of Swords energy here, they know that they put you through a lot, uh, a lot of challenges with them, and maybe they know you have a little bit of a cold exterior to them. Um, and, you know, in this justice, if it's not divorce, this could be, you know, they know they need to come in and do the just, moral, and right thing here. They need to bring in clarity, truth, and balance, you know, doing the right thing. And this justice card is also about, I mean, judgment and justice sometimes can indicate divorce. I mean, so maybe um, you did get divorced and maybe you've been kind of thinking about reconciling for some. Um, but if you did, I, I think they're still thinking about this connection. I really do. And it's like they want to rebuild this. Can we rebuild this? You may even have a family with this person. They're not so sure, though, you know, if you're still in this cold energy that you would even want to um, take them back. So, I mean... For some of you, it can be that, but let's just clarify what justice is. Is that like a divorce or is that just, you know, they want to come in here and do the right thing? Um, also, all right, why is justice here? Those two cards are Libra. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The Wheel of Fortune, again. I feel like they want to come in here and, yeah, work on it here with the Eight of Pentacles. And, you know, right wrongs, do the moral and just right thing. So, again, take it how it resonates for you. If maybe it wasn't a divorce. Maybe it was a breakup. Maybe, you know, the separation, whatever it is here. It's like they want to work on it. Again, feeling like with the Wheel of Fortune, fate, destiny, divine timing. 
things getting better, going in the right direction. Like, I know if we work on this that we can make it good again. We can, you know, we can do it again. You know, and I feel like they want to bring in more of a loving energy. Maybe they didn't really do that before. All right, let's get a few more here. Okay. Yeah. Ten of Cups, total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. And they're, look how sad here, Five of Pentacles. They're like, <laughs> just like, <sighs> at a loss. This is lack, this is abandonment, left out in the cold. Wow. All right, what else here? Queen of Cups. So the, another repeating card here. There's no denying there's still love. They still love you, they do. And they feel sad and lonely and lost without you. Ten of Cups, like, I know we could be happy again. All right, let's get more about how they truly feel about you. Empress, wow. You are their Empress. We have the Emperor and the Empress now. Matching uh, counterparts. Libra, Taurus. Birth of something new. And here's the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. And this could be just a very healing energy. You know, um, peace, harmony, compassion, love, healing, um, fulfillment. Yeah, and love, bringing the love back in. Spiritual, for some it could be a spiritual awakening or spiritual connection. And oh my God, look at this, the Six of Cups. Someone wanting to return here. They definitely want to return. Chariot here. Again, it could be about traveling or distance. If this is resonating for you, uh, Gemini, do give it a thumbs up would greatly help me in the channel and leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you. If this is resonating for you and if you would like, we're not done yet here, but if you would like to go the extended, um, that info is below, but I'll also tell you what I look into there. I pull letter tiles so we could see if we get names, initials, or words that may resonate for you in this connection. We look at how their situation's improving, how they're working through this, what their ne next actions may be, when or how they may reach out, what they truly want with you in this connection moving forward. We get advice and guidance for you. We um, get love messages. I have the messages of love oracle cards here. So we pull a bunch of those also. And I'll show you those uh, cards right over here for your extended in just a bit. So again, the chariot here, again, could be distance or traveling. But this is positive movement forward. This is drive, ambition, balance, success, victory. They want to, want to return here and move this forward again. They, they believe that this could be, it could be successful this time, but I think they're not quite sure, Gemini, if you're going to be open to them. They're definitely uh, listening to their heart, and they know, it's like they, oh my gosh, they know like this could work. The sun, <laughs> Leo energy, best card you can have here. Happiness, joy, enlightenment, healing, fulfillment, expansion, growth, happy home and family, children, soulmate twin flame energy. The hangman. So they've been thinking about this long and hard. We have Pisces here. The star. Oh my goodness. The star. The sun. A lot of healing here with the sun and the star. And then we got that medicine man and medicine woman over there. Again, something meant to be here. Not only with the wheel twice, but now the star. This is divinely guided energy. A lot of healing. Faith, hope, optimism, wishes, and dreams coming true. It's something meant to be. Strength, very strong connection. There's no denying the bond between you. Again, could have past lives together. They want to be the strong one now. They want to be strong, courageous, and brave. They want to come in. They don't want to hold back anymore. Wow. Leo energy here. The magician. They want to make it happen. Brand new beginning here. Wow. Wow, Gemini. I'm not, I think they're just worried that they're not really sure if you're going to be open to them coming back or to uh, like resurrect this. Oh, well, okay. So for your extended here, we have White Buffalo, Spirit Keeper of the East. Look to your inner strength. And we just had the strength card that came out. Love who you are. Ego. I do believe this is the uh, Devil card, I believe. And we have the World. All right, Gemini, so if you'd like to go the extended, again, everything's below. So if you go, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and I shall see you next time.